Okay, so hi everyone. Um, today I will talk about uh, our activity in uh, Linux Foundation AI. Uh, this is uh, a new group in Linux Foundation, or a relatively new group. Uh, my name is uh, Ofer Moni. I, I am a director of product strategy in the Amdocs CTO office. And I'm also the chairperson of LFAI, Technical Advisory Committee, or TAC. And my goal today is that you will share my excitement about what we are doing. And if you would like to contribute or have something to contribute, either by coding or by contributing a project or joining, it will be great. So, what is LFAI? LFAI is a, a, what we call an umbrella project a, that has one governing body a, or one a founding body and many technical projects. All of them are in AI domain, AI, machine learning, deep learning domain. A, we started the foundation in a, a March 18 last year and uh, with one project, and now we have already five, and we are still growing, uh, uh, new companies are joining, and uh, a lot of traction to the project that we are uh, hosting as part of the foundation. This is uh, the mission that we uh, um, define to ourselves. We would like to build and support an open AI community and drive uh, innovation in AI, machine learning, deep learning, um, enable collaboration uh, between uh, uh, the companies, the projects, the users, and uh, of course, create opportunity, opportunities to the members and to the entire community. And we broke the mission into uh, a few goals. First of all, we would like to allow and provide a neutral environment to host those projects. Uh, uh, we would like also, uh, and you will see at, at the end of the presentation, uh, how fragmented the open source AI landscape is. There are hundreds of AI projects in open source. And one thing that we would like to do is to harmonize and, and to have interoperability between the different projects. Um, and this is something that uh, uh, we focus a lot of our time. The uh, third uh, thing uh, is all the uh, fairness and ethics in AI. Uh, I assume that many of you who know AI know about uh, those um, challenges. And uh, we believe that it is, it is very important to have a uh, a fair and uh, non-biased uh, machine learning solutions. And I will touch on it uh, a little bit later. Uh, we are building also some uh, marketplaces. Uh, we have a marketplace for machine learning models, and I will uh, show uh, one of our projects that this is the uh, headlight of this project. And uh, also a marketplace for uh, data. And uh, uh, of course, I, I said earlier that there are so many projects, we would like to understand which projects are the most promising ones and to support them and grow them as much as we can. So this, these are our goals. And this is the structure uh, of the foundation. So as I said, uh, we have a single governing board, a single founding uh, organization. Um, that allows the project, the projects, to focus on what they do best, to create code in, in AI domain. And uh, uh, in, in this way, the governing board takes all of the activities that are related to marketing, all of, all of the activities that are related to um, uh, legal and, and other stuff, and allows the projects to work. Um, under the uh, governing board, currently we have five uh, subcommittees, 
Uh, we have a, a committee, outreach committee. This committee is uh, organizing uh, all the outreach activities, or the uh, marketing activities, um, all the LFAI days. Yesterday, we had one day uh, here in, in the summit, or before the summit started. Uh, this is one example, and we are doing days in, in different places in the world. We, we have, for the rest of the year, we have uh, one day in uh, China, India, uh, Europe, and other places. And for this year, I think that's it. Maybe two in Europe, actually. And this is the outreach. We have a legal uh, uh, subcommittee. Uh, uh, we have a budget subcommittee, of course. And recently, we started two new subcommittees, the strategy subcommittee that tries to um, readdress the mission and goals and understand that we are providing the right value to our members and, and the community. And uh, uh, tries to the strategy committee tries to define the, um, the uh, value, or will define the value proposition of this foundation. Also, we have the fairness uh, subcommittee. Uh, in this subcommittee, we address all the fairness and ethics related to AI. Um, we, we are trying to define, or we will not define what ethics for AI are. There are plenty of organizations and, and, and countries that already define that. But what we, are, we would like to do as part of being a, an open source organization is to bring fairness projects and uh, um, maybe create some certification uh, program which different AI projects will be able to uh, uh, certify themselves into the ethics that we will have. Okay? And this is what we are doing as part of the uh, subcommittees of the governing board. Uh, the technical advisory committee, the TAC, or consul, the TAC, is uh, the uh, committee that I'm leading. Um, we have like bi-weekly uh, meetings. Every two weeks we have a meeting. In those meetings we uh, sometimes discuss the different projects, sometimes discuss, uh, we bring external project uh, to give us presentations so we, we learn uh, what is going on outside. Um, we discuss the collaboration between the projects and how we uh, meet the uh, mission and goals of LFAI. Uh, all of our calls, the TAC, are open and recorded, and uh, if you're interested, I'll, I'll have some links at the, at the end of the uh, presentation, and you're very, very welcome to join and contribute and, and be part of the discussion. Um, the technical projects, uh, I'll touch each and every one a little bit later and explain what they are doing. Uh, but the idea is that there is a separation between the, uh, the governing board and the TAC and the projects. Each project uh, uh, defines its own governance. So we are not dictating anything on the, on the projects. The only thing that uh, uh, we we ask is that the, uh, the uh, governance of the project will be open. We ask for open, an open governance, and that's it. Other than that, each project in, in, in this list, and uh, you can see the five that we already have, and others are coming uh, soon. I assume at least two, three more uh, uh, in, in the coming uh, few months. So. Each project has its own governing uh, uh, procedures and, and the way they are doing the, their stuff. Okay, let's move on. Any questions? Membership. Uh, we have two, two actually three uh, uh, tiers for membership. Um, we have the Premier in general. The Premier is, of course, more expensive and, and, allow, and, and gives the members um, a seat in the governing board. Uh, and we have the general. Uh, just yesterday, uh, IBM joined as a general member, and I hope they will switch to Premier soon. Uh, but many, many companies, many uh, companies that are le leading forces in AI, uh, um, 
many uh, Chinese companies uh, leading in AI. Uh, so we are only like 18 months old, and we already have quite a lot of uh, companies uh, uh, with us. I wanted to mention another uh, um, tier, the third tier, which is Associate. Associate is a free tier for uh, universities and nonprofit organizations. And uh, if you are part of such an organization or you, have an or you know an organization that would like to join uh, to such activity, we'll be happy to get you in to the uh, foundation. Questions? Okay, let's move on. Some uh, uh, milestones that we already achieved. So we started uh, uh, this foundation in March. Back then, it used to be LFDL, Linux Foundation Deep Learning. It was not the smartest uh, uh, choice of name. Uh, I, I was on vacation for one week. I come back, LFDL, okay. So, <laughs> Uh, we started in March uh, 18. Uh, uh, we had uh, the first project uh, in the foundation for the, uh, when we started was Acumos, and then we had this challenge, Acumos challenge. It was an open challenge for uh, uh, developers to uh, contribute machine learning models, and, and the one that, I, I, if I remember correctly, the one that uh, won the first prize was about uh, analyzing uh, uh, data to uh, identify cancer. It was very cool. Um, we had a few days uh, uh, during the year. Uh, uh, we got two projects from uh, Tencent and uh, Baidu, Angel and EDL in August, actually in this uh, conference last year. Um, Orovod, a, a, a project coming from Uber and then Pyro uh, later. And in May, we changed our name to LFAI. And now we have, uh, yesterday we had the, the LFAI day, and we have a lot of other stuff going on. OK. The, we, as part of the foundation, we, uh, um, we defined three tiers for project maturities. The first one is incubation. It's uh, for new projects coming to the foundation. They are still growing. Uh, uh, they need a, a, a neutral environment to get more adoption to their project, to grow. And uh, uh, for that project that would like to join LFAI, they, the only thing they need is the Technical Advisory Committee, the TAC, uh, approval. And there is a process, uh, you go to the um, uh, to GitHub and you submit your project. Uh, uh, of course, we will work with you uh, to do that. You bring uh, it to one of our TAC meetings and uh, we have a vote and approve those projects. Until now, we didn't reject anyone. Uh, but we are still growing and maybe at some point we will. Then uh, uh, there is another tier, the graduation tier. This tier is for the flowers that have a lot of traction from uh, uh, butterflies, uh, those projects that, has, that have um, a, a lot of contribution, a lot of stars, a lot of uh, um, uh, traction, uh, users, committers coming from different companies, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, then uh, we have a TAC vote and a governing board vote in order to uh, move a project from incubation to graduation. The reason that we need a governing board, uh, board vote is that the graduation uh, projects can ask for a dedicated budget to run their project. Okay, so uh, this is the second tier. And the third tier is emeritus uh, for projects that are used to be big and great. And now uh, there is uh, less traction to those projects. Maybe the uh, the... Uh, um, technology is, is a little bit getting a little bit old, and there is new technology coming and replacing this project. Less contributors, less uh, uh, committers, 
and uh, we, we moved those uh, uh, projects into emeritus uh, status. For now, we have four projects in the incubation uh, status and one project in graduation, but two of the projects are uh, going to move from incubation to graduation. Okay, so let's talk about the project themselves. As I said, we have five projects. You can see the names of the projects and the, and the company that uh, contributed uh, those projects. Ecumus uh, uh, came from AT&T, uh, Angel from Tencent, EDL from Baidu, Orvod and, and Pyro from Uber. And let's spend a few minutes to, uh, uh, to discuss each and every one. But something that I, would, I wanted to say is that we would like to achieve a, a landscape of projects that will allow the users to build an end-to-end -end machine learning solution. And for that, we will have to have some integration between the projects and we will have to identify where the projects are in the, um, let's say, machine learning workflow. Uh, um, and I'll discuss it a little bit uh, uh, later. So let's start with the first project. First project, this is the project that we started the foundation with. This is uh, Acumus AI, uh, came from uh, AT&T. Um, the idea of this project, the highlight, is to have a, a, a marketplace for machine learning models. So companies can bring, or companies or individuals, anyone can bring a machine learning model into the platform and then other users, other companies can take the model and use it. When we started it, it was only for open source models, but uh, uh, now we are working on the third release and uh, uh, we are already um, implemented some licensing so companies can share models uh, with licensing associated with the, the model. So the platform is still open source, but there is a, an ability to commercialize your models via this uh, uh, platform. Um, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll touch the, the different uh, um, steps or the activities that uh, can be done on, the, uh, on this uh, platform. So number one on the left is to onboard the model and uh, we, can, we support many, many languages uh, um, for uh, onboarding. Uh, the second activity is to train the model. So a model can come trained or untrained to the platform. And if, it, if the, uh, the uh, model is untrained, we can train it as part of the model, uh, as part of the platform, sorry. And this allows also some uh, interesting uh, commercialization opportunities because sometimes I'm the developer, but I don't have data. So I can share my naked model the non-trained model via the platform, and other company or other organization that has data can train it for me, and then put it back in the platform. The third thing is, is uh, uh, the marketplace uh, uh, stuff, so you can rate, you can uh, um, uh, um, do some other uh, things to the uh, model, and also you can chain, di chain different models, so you can take one model that does one thing, another model that does another thing, and chain them into a full solution. And the uh, fourth uh, step is to uh, uh, run the model. What we are doing is to uh, uh, produce a Docker file. So this is the first, uh, uh, first project. The second project, uh, uh, Angel, is coming from Tencent. And this project came a year ago, exactly a year ago. And it was a small project, not a lot of traction. Yesterday, uh, uh, we had a presentation from, uh, from the Angel team, from the Tencent team. And they presented so they, they managed to uh, take the platform so quickly, so far, it was amazing, and, and I will touch it uh, later when I, I'll show you the location of this project on the workflow. 
but they managed to move very quickly. They have more than uh, 4,000 stars in, in GitHub. Uh, they have more than uh, 2,000 commits and, and many contributors and, and committers and more than 100 organizations using this uh, solution. So this project is going soon uh, to uh, graduation. Another project, uh, uh, EDL, Elastic Deep Learning, uh, coming from Baidu. And I'll, I'll explain a little bit about the, uh, you know what, let's, let's say a, a, something about the solution. So, um, I'm not sure. Okay, so what, what Angel is, uh, is trying to solve, or at least what Angel, what I knew until yesterday that Angel is, uh, is solving is um, training in scale. So you have your model, you built your model, you have your data ready. Now you need to train your uh, model, but you have a huge model. And yesterday in their talk, they presented like billions of, of uh, parameters in, in their uh, um, network, machine learning network or, or model. And they use parameter servers in order to train huge models. And this is uh, uh, what Angel is doing. Uh, EDL, Elastic Deep Learning, is in the same area, uh, distributed uh, um, uh, training. Uh, but uh, uh, EDL is trying to solve a different problem. It, it, it tries to solve the server utilization uh, problem. So in, in many cases, when you train a, a huge machine learning model, many, either you exhaust your resources or you don't use anything because of the uh, um, structure of the model, and they're trying to solve it uh, 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 based on Kubernetes and, and uh, some other technologies. Horvod uh, uh, is coming from Uber. This project is uh, also, this project has also a lot of traction in the market. Many users, many companies uh, uh, contributing and using this project. Uh, more than uh, 7,000 stars, uh, uh, many committers, contributors. And this project is, is all, this project also uh, uh, touches the uh, distributed training and, uh, and uh, uh, let's say, the training phase and the distributed or training at scale, and I will show it uh, uh, soon. And the last one is Pyro. Pyro is a pro pro probabilistic LP? <laughs> uh, uh, language, uh, um, programming language um, based on, based on the PyTorch, and this is another project coming from uh, Uber. And, and I like the number of stars two days ago, so I wrote it exactly the 5555. Five, five, five. Okay, so we, we just discussed five projects, and I tried to explain what the, those projects uh, uh, do, but it's a little bit, you know, it, it is not very clear. And when we, uh, when we are trying to explain what we are doing or what the project are doing, it's a little bit unclear when, you, when you're, you're talking out in, in, without a lot of uh, context. So we decided that we would like to build or define the ML workflow to define all the steps that uh, one needs to take in order to build a machine learning solution, and then to identify what our projects solve and what we are missing. So we took uh, a, known, uh, um, a known flow. We took something that we have seen from a, a Kubeflow. Kubeflow is a project coming from uh, uh, Google uh, for um, machine learning pipelines. So we took their, their uh, model and we, or their uh, stack, and we extended it a little bit. 
and we ended up with this, uh, uh, this uh, stack. So we have three layers. We have the data preparation layer, we have the model creation layer, and we have the rollout. And the, the next exercise, and, and maybe I, I, I should mention a little bit more, and on the left we have a marketplace, um, on the right, um, we have the, uh, the, all the workflows and the, um, and the uh, orchestration. And we also uh, uh, defined uh, some additional layers. We, de we defined the ethics management and the security management. And now we have a good understanding uh, uh, what we what we have this is this is if we have all of the components here or we have solutions that solve all, all of the components here we can build a, a, a system that solves the problem or can provide us a solution for a machine learning a, a problem and then we took our project and we put them on the map and what we identified is that these are the areas that we cover. And now we know that, for example, we don't have uh, open source, as part of the, the foundation, we don't, open, don't have open source that touches, uh, uh, for example, example, the monitoring, uh, and, and, and some other uh, uh, things. And also we understood that it, is, it doesn't help or it doesn't solve the fragmentation problem. If you have different projects solving different uh, aspects or uh, um, activities, if we don't have integration between them. So what we started in, in, as part of this exercise, we, we built that. And now we are working with the different projects in order to build an integration between them. So it will be easier for a user to build a, a, an end-to-end -end solution using our projects. We also add some existing, some, only some, existing other projects on this map to see what other open source projects can, projects can help us in order to uh, build a full solution. Some of what you see here, I hope will join uh, uh, the foundation soon. Uh, but it will take time. Any, any questions? Yes. So this is a good question. Um, uh, we hope that the services that we give and the attraction that we can create will bring the projects, and, and as I said at the beginning, having a, an umbrella project or an umbrella foundation allows the project to focus on the project itself and the marketing, the legal, the governance can be done by someone else. So uh, I, I assume that this is why the project that came, uh, came. Yes. So, yes, I personally think uh, that we have the responsibility to make sure that they are uh, 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 working together. You know, we, we cannot force, okay? We, uh, I cannot say, as, as the TAC chair or the governing board chair, cannot say anything about the uh, technical solution. I can suggest, I can uh, uh, recommend I can try to create collaboration. If one project doesn't want to collaborate, it, it will not happen. But I, I think we, we share, most of the projects share the same uh, um, vision, and, and I hope that we will manage to do that. We're still young. One, one uh, uh, last uh, um, exercise that I want to share with you is the LFAI landscape. Uh, and 
it's a little bit similar to the ML flow, but the landscape is a little bit older and looks at the, looked at the problem from a different point of view. So what you see here on the right is, a, is the open source machine learning solutions. There are 163 projects on our map. Not every project, uh, uh, not ev each and every open source project in the world is on the map. Uh, uh, we have, we, we, um, we define some uh, minimal criteria to get in, but we have already 163 projects with like almost 1 million uh, um, stars. Actually, we have on, there are a few um, projects waiting for, to get inside and we will cross the one million stars. Um, 67 uh, organizations, 11 universities, and this is available online. And I would like to spend one minute to show you. Let me, I hope it will work. Where is it? Okay, you see, no? Okay. So this is the landscape, and, and actually when we started with it, um, we actually took the landscape from CNCF. If you know CNCF, it's another umbrella project in, in uh, Linux Foundation, focusing on, on cloud. And we took the co their code and implemented it for us with uh, our projects, or AI projects. And there is, uh, you can play with it, so you can see the landscape, you can move to card uh, mode. Uh, there are different categories, different projects. The LFAI project are the big ones here. You can see the, the five of them. And you can play, for example, uh, take different licenses or take different organization. If you want, uh, for example, to see what, what open source uh, projects are coming from Google, you can do something like that and you see all the, the open source projects that Google is, is contributing. Um, and this is uh, basically what I wanted to share with you today. So questions. Yes. So the, the question was, if I heard correctly, uh, uh, what to do if I want to contribute? What should I do? So you can see here uh, all the information you need in order to uh, uh, get involved. There is the email and, and the uh, website and the wiki and the GitHub and the uh, um, landscape. No, this is the, uh, the landscape and the, and the uh, website. So all the information is here. If you would like to uh, uh, get involved, send either me or the info uh, 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 email, and, and we will be happy to, to have you part of this uh, activity. I personally really enjoy it. Uh, great, great people, great uh, um, environment to work with, and you're very welcome. More questions? Yes. So there is, uh, in our uh, uh, GitHub, there is a, a process of what, uh, what a new project needs to bring in order to, uh, or to show in order to get, uh, to apply to be an LFAI uh, project. And uh, uh, we would like to see what is the scope of the project, uh, what is the uh, roadmap, uh, who is contributing to the project, what is the traction of the project. And recently, uh, uh, I personally asked the, the, the new projects to map themselves on the landscape, 
not the landscape, sorry, the ML flow. So we will be able to see um, if this is an area that we are struggling with or this is a crowded area. Uh, so this is basically what we, uh, we will ask. More questions? And, and if you have a specific uh, project in mind that you would like to contribute, come after the talk, I, I, I'll stay. More questions? Okay, thank you very much for your time, and uh, see you next time. Thank you.